Can Maya and Karina move in together? They're so cute. I'm so happy you guys like me and Karina together. I love Stefania so much. What do you think about Maya and Karina's relationship? Oh, I'll do this. I forget. You got to click on it. I love Maya and Karina's relationship. I absolutely love Maya and Karina's relationship because I also just love working with Stefania. Um, hmm? What's this? Ah! What's your favorite thing about working with Stefania? There's not one favorite thing. She's amazing. From her energy to her work ethic to her personality to her love for life, for her optimism, um, she is. She just walks on set and is a full, fresh a breath. No, breath of fresh. You said it mm -hmm. right. Breath of fresh air, and she's so freaking talented. And I love working with her. I just love working with her. We have so much fun in our scenes, um, and some of our scenes are not easy. From crying to make out sex scenes and all that kind of stuff. You know, sometimes uh, you you don't always get lucky with who you get to work with. And I got very lucky getting to work with Stefania. Yeah, so I love working with Stefania. I like working with Stefania too, and I don't even get to say words with her. But she's a beautiful, like, awesome, open, chatty, social person on set, and that's how I am too. So I, I really enjoy working with Stefania. Thoughts on Maya and Karina? Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, good question. Where, Jack where, where, where? Karina? Me? Yeah, you. Karina. Hmm. Listen. I agree. I mean, look, I think it's great. Well, Jack I, or Karina? Oh, I think uh, the relationships held different places in, uh, in Maya's life for different reasons. But yeah. I think... Uh, I think, I think, you know, I don't know where, I mean, I know we've shot stuff, but I don't know where things are going, just as much you guys don't know, I, but I think she, I yeah, think, me neither. I think there's a bond there between her and Karina that really, um, goes deep, so it's I'm excited nice. to see how it, that unravels. There seems to be some vulnerability between you two that, that didn't, I didn't necessarily happen. exist between you and Jack, even though you were friends, and I like that, I like And we had a lot that. of sexual tension. Sure. I mean, so I get that, but I think there was a lack of vulnerability with each other. That's like when Maya said when she broke up. She's like, listen. I think we each had three love interests. I had Charlotte, Karina, and Jack. Um, we want more Maya and Karina scenes. You will get more Maya and Karina scenes, trust me. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> uh, you guys created a squad for Marina. What does that mean? You create a squad. I let you let my Will I marry Stefania, please? I would love to. Stefania, will you and marry me? I would also love to marry Stefania. She's I mean, who wouldn't? So fucking awesome. You guys, she's such a joy to work with. Yeah, she is. Um... Uh, Jake, just so you know, because uh, fans knew last week because I did the live with Stefania, I'm t doing Rosetta Stone Italian. Oh. <laughs> and, um, and anyways, it's going. So that you can speak to your girlfriend? Yeah, basically. I mean, well, she's always saying Italian to me, or she speaks, but she speaks like 100 miles an hour. I can't keep up with Stefania ever. Um, <laughs> but I was I was wanting to learn a language. I was going to learn French, and then I was like, screw it. My like subscription to the French one had expired or something, so I was like, screw it. I'll learn Italian. And uh, I'm learning slowly but surely. Do you like Rosetta Stone? I've also, just so you know, during quarantine, I've been learning Italian. I've been taking Rosetta Stone. I oh, know, amazing. I don't, I don't know anything yet. I'm learning. I couldn't even string oh, myself really? to say something in Italian, and I really just don't. Like the only thing that sentence that I can string together because I learned it before I started the Rosetta Stone classes and I'm still going to say it wrong. Stefani always corrects me. is like, è stato, è stato un piacere, piacere, è stato un piacere conoscere a ti, which is, I believe it's a pleasure to meet you. Wow. That's from, hey, you got me going. I no, I, felt, I figured everyone else knows every other language. I should figure I should know my girlfriend's language on the show, so. You okay. tell it, and you've got you've got her to bounce it off, so that's perfect. That's what I figured. That's I was like, <laughs> I was going back and forth between Italian and French because we have so many people that speak French too. Yeah, right on. I went with Italian. Yeah, right, because you're you're you're, you're going to be an amazing director. Aww. So answer Thanks, that question Lachlan. when when you're there. Yeah, I know. I'll probably I I'll be interested. I think like we had Tom Berica, who's an actor turned director, direct that episode when me and um, Stefania went on vacation. Like mm. I'm very happy, which is hard for me to say with my performance for this episode. So I am happy. Oh, with right. the perfectionist that always be like, ah. 
Like, yeah, yeah, all the stuff. And it was such an array, like, from the sexy scene that starts off the episode after the calendar stuff with me and Stefania yeah. to, like, the Which was the first the thing we shot. Yeah. I, th I think that was literally the first scene that we shot. Yep. Yeah. And hot. It was. Fans loved it. It was very hot. And then it just, and then Maya starts getting angry. It was all that hotness. She's just, it was a hot temper. <laughs> hot head. Um, personally, I'm kind of a weirdo, but I like to get together with the actors I have big scenes with. And I, I pulled Stefania and I pulled you in and like mm -hmm. wanted to sit down and you came to my house and we, like, we went over the scenes and went over like our character arc. And because a lot of times as actors, we don't have backstories. The writers don't really provide us with backstories. We kind of just have to take the script and make something up <laughs> and oh here we go because people love stefania obviously oh. I mean, who doesn't love stefania oh. oh where'd the question go someone just asked um where is it how is it working with stefania oh okay i have such cute stories to say about this oh please I, okay obviously everybody loves stefania like just of course of you course. can't not love her how can you not love stefania so she was so fun. She would come on dancing. She would be so fun. But in that one scene um, between one? us, between the three of us. Yeah. With the so tables. Before, yeah. So yep. it was one of, and this happens a lot where you're doing a scene and it has to make it look like you're already mid conversation. And so <laughs> she just kept telling me this recipe for bruschetta. <laughs> and cracking me up, Ex like every it was that's amazing. what she was giving you was a oh recipe. Oh my gosh, she was cracking me up so much. She was just talking to me about food and, and pizza and pasta. You guys, I love food. I love carbs, and we were just like oh, so talking, and she was just making me laugh so much and talking to me about all of her amazing Italian food. She's beyond. I love that story so much. And you're right. It is so funny. Like, we have to make up the craziest stuff. And what's horrible, sometimes that stuff ends up in the show of, like, the stuff that if you're in the middle of a scene and there's nothing written, but you have to act like you're talking. Some of the stuff that's set, even some of the stuff that comes out of my mouth when I'm happy to do it, I'm like, why, why did I just say that? <laughs> I know. Even I do that. Okay, I'm going to find... Uh, that was amazing, by the way, and I love that. And of course, she was giving a recipe about bruschetta. I'm going to try and find some other questions. Um, she had like the whole crew dancing. She's. What do you? Ha we had to do a scene about a mother and daughter that haven't seen each other, in we don't know how long at this point. They haven't had a good relationship for basically ever, and now they're you know one of her. She walks in on her making out with her girlfriend, and then is in her office and is invading her space and telling her she's leaving her father and that her father was abusive and Maya's in complete denial. And right. um, yeah, that was, that, that was, I would say the hardest scene for me, she was the last scene with Stefania when I'm, I'm crying and I'm saying I'm angry because it was just one of those like, do you know when you do like, I know you know this, but when you have a scene where your character has to do something that's so authentic that it's scary. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that was, it was, cause it's one of those moments where like, we're as human beings, we're irrational. We do a lot of things a lot of times that make us flawed and make us layered and make us weird. And we do crazy things that sometimes don't make any sense. That's when then we have to apologize for or figure out why we did it. Um, but it was such an, a visceral reaction that Maya gets so worked up and so angry and goes into her office and is such an emotional mess because she has all this emotion bottled up, but she's not willing to admit it, doesn't want to admit it, and isn't talking about it, and then just loses it on her girlfriend. And it was just such, it was, it was a scary scene to shoot because it just felt so real that I remember, thank God, that was one of those moments mm -hmm. where I was like, oh, I'm so lucky to have Stefania as a scene partner because she, I would always like, if I'm not where, as you know, as actors, like if you're not fully where you need to be or there's something off or whatever, you kind of hold for a second. And I remember I was holding for a second and she walked in and just looked at me and just like you kind of said, like the piercing eye thing, like she just sat there and stared at me and said a couple things. And I said a couple things back and then it just got me right back into it. And then we said action and went into the scene. And 
it was a, it's just a scary scene. It not was, everyone has a great relationship with their mom. It's not always daddy issues. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's mother issues and sometimes it's really, it's actually, I think I've, in my experience a little bit harder to resolve the mother issues because who knows why I'm not a psychologist, but is it because, <laughs> is it because we're both female? Is it because there's a different, you, you treat your mother or look at your mother a little differently than your father. I don't know the, the science behind it, but it feels like, or maybe I'm just really stubborn. <laughs> But it feels like it's a little bit harder to resolve those issues. It's so true. And, you know, for some reason, it's making me think of Stefania again, just like how much in our dynamic, how beautiful it was to have her there. Because in the middle of, of this sort of rot relationship, there's this light and love and come to healing and let's dance and let's be so... <laughs> and hold hands. In that, that I, yeah. I, I just flat on her in that moment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's something uh, you brought that up too. You, Dan. What's gonna happen between Maya and Karina? I have no idea. I wish I knew. Um, stay tuned. We have two more episodes for this season, and then and then we got picked up for a season four. So we'll see where that goes. Um, sometimes, since we're doing this whole thing about acting, you know what? We'll talk about acting. Um, it is sometimes very hard to to snap out of some of the characters you play or some of the scenes you have. Um, I had one, I think this season or last season, I honestly, I, I can't remember for probably for good reason when it's, I don't want to remember honestly, but there was a rough emotional scene and it was really, really, really hard to get out of. And I remember I went to Barrett and was like, I just need, let's go get dinner or something and like make me happy because some of the scenes that you do as actors can be very emotional and we do have to get to, to places, whether that's dark or, think of things that we don't want to think of. Like I said, that scene at the end of the episode with Karina was extremely hard for me to not to shoot. I got there and I felt like I, I we shot it quickly and all that kind of stuff. But when it came to the work I had to do to get to that scene, it just felt so authentic and real that I, that we've all been there where we're so angry and have so much bottled up emotion and sometimes we don't even know what that emotion is we just know that there's something going on and you can't verbalize it and I think Maya's in that place where she really doesn't know how she's feeling or what she's feeling but she knows she's feeling something and we've all been there I'm sure during quarantine team we've really been there um and it, and it just explodes and and it does on someone that she actually really cares about and I think we've all been there and it's it's hard because then you freak out and you lose it on someone you love and then you sit there going like why did I just completely put that on this other person um so it was beautiful but very hard to shoot and I was so lucky that Stefani was my scene partner in that scene because um without her I don't think I would have gotten the takes that I'm actually really proud of um and happy to have in that scene the hand this is such good questions guys the hand hold tonight planned or no plan they were not in the script they were not written um instinctually it just happens me and stefania do have an insane amount of of i guess you could call that chemistry it's there's certain scene partners you have that it just works and other scene partners where it just feels like it's difficult or you're like magnets like two magnets it either feels like you're attracting or two magnets that are just like no matter what you do you can't get them to touch and that's the best visual I can kind of give. And with me and Stefania, it feels like we're two magnets and we kind of instinctually do things in scenes um, that just happen. And then luckily you have a director like Pete who captures it. And so both handholds, I don't know if you guys noticed in the first scene of the episode, um, when my mom first comes in, I'm trying to grab at her hand and like, I'm doing this kind of thing. I'm like, don't leave, please don't leave, please don't leave. And she leaves the room. And then in the end, it kind of comes full circle it gave me goosebumps just talking about it. And at the end, it kind of came full circle that um, when, you know, I'm mad at my mom being there and kind of feeling betrayed that Stefania is there being all buddy, buddy with my mom who I'm angry with and have all these emotions for. And she goes to grab my hand and I actually don't grip her hand. I just, I just kind of limp, have a limp hand and then I pull it away. That was all unplanned. So, um, you know, until we got in the scene and then it just felt so right. It felt good for her. I think Stefania is the one that came up with that in the second part of like the reason she came at me was to kind of comfort me and to give me and to hold my hand. And I just wouldn't. And then I, my reaction was just, I wouldn't accept it. And so that was very much impromptu with me and Stefania. And uh, I just, it's such a joy acting with 
so many amazing actors. <laughs> um, and so we read a script kind of with this idea of what the next script's gonna be and then we'll get the next script and sometimes it's nothing what we expected. I think a big one, I've heard it even in tonight's episode from a continuation from last episodes, but that big episode where I was in LA with Stefania and the big five alarm fire broke out. Everyone thought the next episode was gonna be a continuation. So did us actors. And then it wasn't. And I don't know, this is kind of a, a loaded, what do you want, what do you want, wait, what do you want to my and Karina relationship? The way I read this before I clicked on it, like was what do you want to happen or come of the Maya and Karina relationship? Um, I would love to see where it goes. I think they have, like I said, that magnetic bond and chemistry between them that it's fascinating to play, it's exciting to play. Um, I know also, I, I can't speak for Stefani and her character, I know that Maya has a lot of issues that she is not obviously dealing with. Um, and I'm assuming <laughs> that that is gonna get in the way some way or another, like all of our issues in our personal lives do. Um, it's funny how I'll have to say that the issues we have personally as human beings always tend to really gu bubble to the surface when you're in a relationship. Like you get that like two year mark in a relationship and all of a sudden all those issues that you never dealt with are like right at the surface. Um, and so I think that's what's so human about their relationship and so relatable, but there is a lot of issues and things that's my, that Maya is going through and I'm interested to see how that plays out and how Maya deals with it. And I hope, fingers crossed because I don't know how it's going to pan out that I hope um, that Maya doesn't completely screw it up. So we'll see. Um, but I would love it to be, you know, it's television and drama. It can never, I feel like ever just be a happy ending. So I could, I could wish and hope for that, but I highly doubt that it's always going to be some, some perfect little fairy tale ending, but at least um, for, uh, you know, we have a season four that the, the relationship will continue and evolve and issues and things will be addressed and resolved, hopefully. But in the meantime, let's just enjoy their hot, sexy scenes, which I love shooting with Stefania. They are so much fun. And just like Ivana said, Stefania will just sit there. We could be making out with Stefania and she's talking about a bruschetta the recipe or something or speaking in Italian and I don't understand a word she's saying. She's an absolute joy to work with. I love her to death. Um, and so I'll plan on that too. I'll bring on Stefania again for another live and I'll bring on my sister for another live. Can you tell us? If I, I can't tell you anything. That's the point of drama and excitement is we have to wait. It's only one more episode. So for them to get back together one episode, I don't know. Um, but <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like I said before going with Miles real quick, I'll just say you can't um, control the scripts and I love all the stuff we get and the writers are amazing and Domain directed it perfectly and it was amazing to act with. I got to do an episode with Karina, Jaina, and Gray who I loved working with all three. So it was an amazing episode to shoot um, from an actor's perspective, a lot of stuff to work with. And obviously Maya has some major issues that need to be resolved that she's running away from. Um, but again, I am sorry, but yeah, it's hard for me too, guys. It's hard for me too. Um, so I'm going to go, yeah, try to remember all the good scenes. <laughs> Someone just mentioned a bunch of other good scenes and thank you guys for complimenting my acting and, and, uh, just know me and Karina still love each other off camera. <laughs> I struggled a little bit with the last um, one with Stefania trying to find Stefania and I requested. Uh, I know you've probably talked about, you've talked about it a couple of times now, but um, how was, how was the episode for you? Because I know that was a really like tense one for you and, and Stefania or Han, what's her character's name? I'm blanking out. Karina. <laughs> Karina, that's right. I do it yeah. all the time. Oh my God. Wait, yeah, that was, that was a tense one. Yeah, it that was. was a tense one for you guys. And, and, and like to just drop that that bomb on her, like obviously, you know, uh, you and Bishop and, and, and Jack hook up and, and then, you know, you drop that bomb on her. So yeah, how, it was, how was it for you? It's, I mean, reading the script was rough. Then shoot, shooting it, like, you, I think you can understand that, like shooting it, you just have to get into it. Like at that right. point, you're not thinking about, you know, how people are gonna react to it or like what your personal thoughts are on it. You're just right. getting into character and playing the role that you, way you need to play it. So playing yeah. it was fun as from an actor's perspective i mean getting to play all those variations and those layers of like someone that's so conflicted about her past mm. that she's willing to throw away 
what might possibly be the love of her life by risking it and cheating on her. And so it's just, it's, it's, it was great to play as an actor, hard to read when I first read it and, Mm. and very hard to take now like it's hard it was hard to watch the episode it's hard. It's hard. did you talk, did you get to talk to stefania earlier yeah we did a not to talk about the episode but just a quick little like hi to the fans we're gonna go live okay. after next week's episode oh cool okay so we kind of were just giving a little like hey what's up we're going live next week tune in and give us your we're questions still friends. um are you what'd you say Oh, no. <laughs> he wanted to make sure everyone you froze Barrett <laughs> oh no wait you're pixelated I see you doing this but you're just oh. pixelated okay I'll stop moving then um oh I don't mind you can move all you want I just I'm glad I can hear you at least what did you say before that I was saying you wanted to make sure everyone knew that you and Stefania were still friends <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was just like, we like each other. See, we still yeah. love each other off camera. Um, well, no, I'm you just... both love each other on camera still. Yeah. I don't, I don't buy um, it. Oh, thanks. Your team, team. Uh, I'm Mar- team Mar- Marina. Marina. Um, I mean, I think <laughs> she yes. absolutely knows that she loves Karina. And I think love scares her. I don't think she actually understands love and what being loved and loving even means. I think... Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even know if she fully understands it. I think when you say what she's thinking, I don't even know if she's thinking. It's just yeah, she is trying to run away because Karina wants to talk about stuff that's deep that Maya does not want to delve into. And she is trying everything to avoid that. And Karina is pushing and pushing and pushing. Rightfully so in a relationship. You're trying to get, I think you're trying to understand your partner better. Mm-hmm. Um in my just took it to an extreme and of course in television this would probably take place over months in a relationship but on you know in an episode it would take place in one episode where it's you know karina's trying to be there for her and get some information but maya ends up just pushing her away and then that last scene was the hardest though because that's a choice like Oof, yes that last scene when i tell her I just slept with, like, basically, it, it's like that scene that you see in movies all the time where, like, the man goes away and he's like, I can't, I'm going to hurt her. I'm going to break her heart. So I need to, like, break it off now. And he does, like, the worst possible thing. I and know. And they fall back. It felt like it was that Mike moment. Mic drop that, like, if I ever heard one. It was like, it was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That was. Yeah. Um, it was so funny. Someone just said something about in the uh, second to last episode, there's like a scene where Maya's angry chopping at Karina and someone just said angry chopping and it made me laugh because that is basically what I've been doing with this damn sweet potato. <laughs> okay. Okay. Someone said I should bring some to, um, what's it called? To, to Stefania. Maybe I will. I'll bring some brownies to Stefania. I saw her yesterday. I saw Jeff and Stefania yesterday. Oh. Stefania has a, has a female dog named Jeff. It's the best situation ever. Oh my god, that's awesome. So, okay. I just for the first time tried oat milk. Actually, Stefania, we went on a hike and she made um, me a coffee, an Italian espresso, mm-hmm. and um, with oat milk, and it was so good. But she's also Italian, so it might have just been good because she was making it. Oh, and just if, in case no one noticed, but I think everyone's going to know, Stefania is officially a series regular on Station 19, which I am so excited about. I'm sure you guys are as well. I'm excited to see what season four, um, what happens in season four. Um, I know nothing yet, so I'll be just as surprised as you, but I am so excited to be working with Stefania and that she's part of the Station 19 family. She deserves it so much. So, anyways, if you guys didn't know that, Stefania is now a series regular on Station 19, so please send her your congratulations if you haven't already. I'm so happy that it ended, the season ended the way it did. And Stefania, I don't know if you heard, Stefania's a series regular now, so. I know, I saw it, yeah. Yeah, so that opens like a whole different world of like, I have no idea what they're gonna do. I'm really excited. Me too. Um, <laughs> me too. But how you use the certain verbiage and 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 um, little things from Stefania saying stuff and then Maya saying stuff, it was great. And then yeah. and, and you heard about Stefania becoming a series regular, right? Yeah. So excited. 
<laughs> we've been having to keep it quiet for a while. We've known for like, I think two weeks now. And we've, I've wanted to shout it at the rooftops. I'm so excited that it's finally public knowledge. Um, so what would you want to happen in season four, if you got to say? Like reward, um, like Maya or Stefano with um, Karina or? In general, like anything that you really would love to see um, the show do. Um, I would really like to see, like we've seen um, Karina being supportive uh, with Maya. Yeah. But we haven't seen the opposite. Yeah. So that's, that's the, I would like that. Gray just said we love Stefania. We do love Stefania. Um, yeah, I think that is something that I hope that they do delve into too. As an actor, I know nothing. It's one of those things that I get, I know nothing until we start filming. But that is absolutely something I think even I and Stefania would love to see is um, the reverse. Because she has been so supportive of Maya. And and Maya has, has kind of broken that trust, obviously. So I'll be excited to see. Um, well, I don't know if you've seen, but the edit Stefania posted when you were saying that you were going live. Yeah. I also did that M Marina edit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I know which one you're talking about. I know the edit you're talking about. So you've done, you are just busting out edits and pictures. Did you do a picture of Stefania as well? Yeah, drawing of Stefania, yeah. Okay, so all this needs to be put out there. Oh my gosh, you are a ball of talent. You can do it all. Um, that's pretty amazing. And did, are we making sure we give you credit every the time? I hope. I hope. Well, Stefania, um, like she um, tagged me on Twitter, but obviously Twitter is not the same as Instagram. <laughs> ah, so it didn't go over to Instagram. Yes, I, I want to know what you expect for Maya in season four, because you said you don't really know what's going to happen, right? Nothing. So what do you think Nothing. might happen? I would love, someone kind of hit it on the head too, is I would love to see Maya be supportive of Stefania. I'm not sure in what way, maybe with her family situation or work, yeah. something happens with work or something. Like I would love to see Maya show some support for Stefania since, you know, at the end of the season, Maya professed her love and she's never done that with anyone. <laughs> no, we need a girls, girls night out with... Maya, Vic, Andy, and Karina. That would be, be the best. Yeah. That would be the best. I'm with you on that. Um, and so I'm so happy that it's been so well received, um, the relationship <laughs> between me and Karina. Yeah. <laughs> They're like star, star. It's like, I don't know if you saw this, but we named a star after you. <laughs> and Stefan. I did hear about this. I did hear about this. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. how do you do this exactly? How does this name a star happen? <laughs> Yeah, so we all gave a little bit of money, and then we named a star to you. <laughs> is, it, is it after Marina? It's like a Marina? No, it's called Danielle and Stefani. And it's on Constellation Karina. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, so there's so much posting and stories I had to do. I'm going to repost about this, because I remember seeing it, and then I think it was, it was at the end of the season, right, that it, you guys did that? Um, and It was a little after but it was a few months ago yeah okay and i remember seeing it and then never really getting the backstory as to what happened and like how it all yeah. went about that's amazing <laughs> that number one that's uh, even possible and that me and stefan yeah. have a star named after us <laughs> yeah. we're always connected now now is it one that like if you've ever do you know like do you have a map of where it is in the sky i'm assuming yeah so we posted on our ig um okay. like a little video with the pictures and like the map of the sky and everything the constellation the star itself okay okay i'm gonna find all of this and i'm gonna repost this okay. stories it's amazing thank you um, so much thank you so and it's great too because like stefania is not great at social media <laughs> <laughs> yeah we know yeah so i've like had to like walk her through things or like i'll send her things so i'll let her know about mm -hmm. this and she can post about it as well since you guys did that and that's yeah. so awesome Aww. so awesome. thank you um again stefania is a series regular now so please send your congratulations to her um i don't know any portuguese the only one that knows portuguese is stefania knows portuguese someone said speak portuguese it's funny that you choose that one because i'm sure every fan hates that scene because that's the moment i cheat on, yeah. on karina but yeah. at, from an actor's perspective it was so fun because it's it does a lot of this like yeah like it escalates 
but there's so many layers and it was a really fun scene to shoot and we love working together and it was um as everyone i think knows at this point and like um we hadn't gotten that opportunity to work together in so long so from an actor's perspective it was really fun to work that muscle again mm -hmm. because with everyone i mean you can attest to this like every actor you work with it's different and yeah. there's certain actors that you just have this you get in a groove or whatever you can finally get into it and some you just never do it just always feels like you're trying to find that never find it and we've yeah. always you and me and me and um stefania have always eventually like you find that moment where all of a sudden you're like oh shit okay yeah yeah you and stefania have amazing chemistry it's really it's really good you know i'm a little jelly a little jelly <laughs> jack's a little jelly but before i forget you have to say congratulations to stefania I already did. Okay. In the comments. Said, okay, in the comments. Okay, good. No, congratulations, Stefania. We love you. I just love that. I love that. I'm making. Jack doesn't here. love you, but. What'd you say? I'm just being a dummy. <laughs> um. Yes. I don't know how Jack feels about Stefania. He probably doesn't. He probably likes her just fine. Yeah, you've never had a scene with, with Karina, with Stefania, right? The writers haven't established how Jack feels about Stefania. You know what's funny is until now I really didn't think about that, but like there must be an awkward moment sometime in the future where you guys cross paths. There's got to be there's something. I don't know. It'll be interesting. But that I thought but, never entered my brain until now. But Jack is surprisingly uh, um, easy going about that. I think you know that sort of situation. He seems to be, but I wonder how Stefania will be around me working. You know what I mean? Like I work with you and I cheated on her with you. Totally. That's a good point. So many people have said, and it never crossed my mind is so many people have said, uh, Maya is pregnant with Jack's baby. So if this is what I think might be interesting. If you it's ever think someday, that? someday you and Stefania get married and then you guys choose to have Jack's baby. Because you and I become real tight homies. Oh, wow. That would be like a nice thing. That We're could... talking like season seven. Yeah, like eventually. That's actually a beautiful storyline. I wonder where it's going to go. Would... And by the way, love you and Stefania together. I love me and Stefania together, too. Um, today is by visibility day. How do you think Maya would commemorate today? Lots of making out with Stefania. Uh, um, she said Stefania. <laughs> I know, I get that. I mess that up a lot. Uh, is it hard keeping six feet from Stefania on set? Yes. Ask, does Karina punch Jack in the face? That would be awesome. That would be amazing. Uh, I hope so. I haven't read that script if it's written yet, but that would be amazing. Uh, do Karina and Maya kiss, maybe? <laughs> I can't give away any spoilers. Uh, it's probably too soon to ask, but are you hoping for Maya and Karina to have a baby? That would be awesome. I might have said that a little too loudly. That would be awesome. That would be so cool to see us have a baby. That would be so cool. So that would be awesome. I don't think that's going to be anytime soon, like you said. That's probably too soon. But um, that would be really cool down the line. I would love that. I have no say, though. <laughs> Cafe? Cafe Con? Cafe? Cafe Con Stefania. U-N-C-A-F-F-E-C-O-N Stefania. Asked. I'm butchering all of these. I'm sorry. Uh, Danny, on a trip, uh, oh, Danny on a trip, where would you take Stefania? Oh my gosh, I would force Stefania to take me to Sicily because I really wanna go and that's where she's from, that's where her family is and I would love to see Sicily. So actually it wouldn't be where I would take Stefania, I would have Stefania take me to Sicily. And I think I might have to ask for that. Um, do we get a scene with Andy, Maya, Vic and Stefania? I know that Barrett and I have specifically asked for scenes with all the women in them. Uh, I don't know if it, I'm hoping it's gonna happen this season. I've told they want it to happen. I don't know what context it'll be in, but fingers crossed because all four women together is like power in my opinion. <laughs> so um, I would love a scene with just all four women would be badass. And I hope that one day we get that. Um, ask any possibility that of we of any possibility we see Karina speak in Italian or Maya, Maya learning to speak Italian. As you guys know, I tried to learn Italian during the break, during hiatus. I failed. Um, I think I got it through like round one and I still, I just maybe basically know the generic words. Um, I think if you heard recently, one of the lives me and Stefania did, she like got mad at me because 
<laughs> I still don't know how to say pi piacere, piacere, it's pleasure, but I can't say it properly. Um, and it's been like three years. So um, I, I would love a scene where Karina is speaking Italian or I'm learning to speak Italian in the show. Uh, Stefania absolutely says a lot of Italian words to me on camera that aren't scripted um, that I absolutely love when she says, and I'm always like, what are you saying to me? And it's usually kiss me. So uh, I would love it if that was the scene. Like if there was a funny little scene of her trying to get me to learn some Italian, that would be awesome. Or maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't know. So many ideas in my head now. Um, and the only other, the only things that I know that are kind of added, like I said, are when Stefania at the end of a scene, they usually roll a lot of the scenes with Stefania and I, they don't say cut right away. <laughs> So me and Stefania will be doing a scene and, you know, it ends with us, you know, super close or kissing or, and they just keep rolling. They don't say cut. And then that's when Stefania usually adds in some Italian or she's very good at ad libbing little things there at the end. And then I'll usually respond. And so those are the only times that things are kind of added, but for the most time, most part um, for me specifically, everything is scripted in regards to preparing for the scene. Cause you said like to prepare for yourself. Um, before I just study my lines a ton and different ways that they can be played. Uh, if it's scenes with certain actors that like to run lines before, like Stefani and I love to run our scenes before, um, we'll run our scenes before, uh, we even days before we actually shoot those scenes to really kind of get all the cobwebs out and figure out what's the best way to do this scene. What, um, or how do we want to do the scene? Cause a scene can be played multiple different ways, even though it's written one specific way. But yeah. for sure, right before we start filming November 12th, I will make sure to do some lives. And of course, there will be future lives with Stefania and I. We would not not have future lives with Stefania and, and I. So look forward to those as well. And like, Hello, Stefania. Hello, Stefania just texted me. And like, we did not have a lot of Marina scenes tonight, but you guys, they are saving them for the future. Trust me. There's going to be a ton of great ones coming your way. Oh, yeah. Um, juicy, juicy Marina scenes. <laughs> um, should we bring on up. Stefania? Are you on here? Someone said Stefania's on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's bring her on, say hi. And then we're gonna have to, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh-uh. Sandra, look at this. All we're missing now in this little duo is Barrett. I know. If, if Stefania signs on. Stefania, baby. Did you just say Good job, D. Stefania, baby. They're airbrushed. What's happening? Come on. Um, I'm waiting for Stefania. I'm trying to, I have a little button. There's three dots. I'm waiting for Stefania to come on. Uh, we decided, oh, Stefani wasn't able to join. Um, we decided to jump on real quick um, to check in with you guys. We're in between shooting a scene. I do have to rush back to shoot it after me and Stefani can also go on. So you guys can uh, say hi and we can ask, answer some questions if you guys have them. <laughs> I tried to wait for Stefani again. I'll have to text her when we get hi. Oh, Stefani is live on her other one. Oh, well, no wonder she can't join. She's live on hers. <laughs> we were trying to text. It was a poorly planned attempt today. Sometimes we can plan it out better. You guys, it sounds like Stefania's live. Go to her live, check in with her, and then um, maybe we'll try to do a better planned one in the future of me, Jaina Barrett, and Stefania, all of us together. And you guys can ask a ton of questions and, and we can uh, answer all your burning questions. Love you and Stefania are both really into skincare, so I know mm -hmm. that we're going to do some more skincare conversations on the WeChat Wednesday lives. Yeah, Stefania's going to be with her facialist next Wednesday because Stefania struggled a lot with acne. Oh, she um, did. Yeah, okay. which you wouldn't even know now. Her skin's beautiful. Yeah. Um, and her facialist was really, she, the, she's the one she credits with getting her skin back to um, a good place. Thanks for tuning in. This WeChat Wednesdays is, gonna, this is, be, is so much fun, and I'm glad that Stefania and I came up with it. And, that we've been able to do it and hopefully this is fun for you guys to kind of engage with this while the show's not on the air they use rms on the show rms is great but i glad you can use it but i cannot use it because it has coconut so much coconut oil in it it breaks me out i heard about that stefania was the same they tried to use the yeah. rms on stefania's skin as well and um hers breaks out so with it sad. danielle can we talk you into putting makeup on stefania one day <laughs> She's keen to talk Stefania into letting me put makeup on her. Um, that might be a hard no from her. She's very particular about her makeup. That is so um, funny. So, I mean, I'd be down to try, but uh, we would have to see if Stefania would be willing to do that. But you're having, you're having the best time working with Stefania. Oh my God, right? I love working with Stefania. She's amazing. Yeah. 
Stefani is amazing. I think, as everyone knows, we have way too much fun together, and it's just effortless working with her. Yeah. So um, it's been good. It's been good because, like you said, with COVID, with the restrictions we've been having, mm -hmm. it's really hard. Like people have said, it kind of takes the fun out of working on set it, because you're so restricted with the mask. I mean, we're being extremely responsible with the mask and and the shield and the six feet of separation and the constant hand sanitizer and two people to a room and like all this kind of stuff. And right, so right. You catch us every once in a while when we're being um, like crazy on set and like, you know, getting yeah. to like have fun and like find a little cubby hole to like take our mask off and say hi. But for the most part, it's kind of hard. So to be able to work with her, um, during all of this has been such a gift. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yay, that's good. That's yeah. good. And I saw someone ask if she's in the uh, the sauna next to us, just hiding. <laughs> she, she's not as far as we know, but you got her into this, right? I did. I yeah. got her. I, from what I heard last, is pretty addicted. Like, so she, I did it with her once. And what also is great about infrared saunas is your skin. But I did get uh, when you asked. Yeah, I got Stefani into this. She really likes it for the skin. Is what I was getting at. She cool. like, loved that the benefits of how her skin looked after. Okay, well, that's yeah. exciting. Did you watch Steph interviews? I haven't watched uh, Stefani's interviews from that, um, but I saw you guys uh, cut together some clips that I'll have to go check out. Did you speak French? Mm -hmm. Everyone speaks another language around me. Stefani speaks Italian. You speak French. We work like with Stefania so much. She's extremely Italian. I feel like she is her character. Like she loves food. In a way, like she loves food. In a food. way. Ooh. In a way. There's a lot of things that are not like her at all, which is True. really funny. I suppose she... the Italianized part of it, she is. Yes. She is that. Right? And even to some so... extent, like she's like, she'll kind of get mad because she's like, I wouldn't do this. And I have to remind her, like, <laughs> Stefania, but this isn't you. This is Karina. Like it's right. a different character. But um, she is. There's a lot of similarities, but there are a lot of differences too. What was your right. question like? Well, no, I was going to ask. So you've, you spent a lot of time with her. Like, does her Italian do her Italianisms rub off on you? Like, has she taught you some Italian words? No, but I do this all the time now. Does she do this though? She talks with her just... hands a lot. So okay. yes, she does it. And now I'm starting to do it. And I did it yesterday. I was shooting a scene, and I was doing it. Right. And I was like, oh my gosh, the hands are rubbing off. On she me. does the hands. That, she yeah. does the hands. Yeah. Can the first talk? the first time I saw her this season, she spanked me, so that was fun. Using your hands. She did using her hands. She had someone just smacked me from behind. It was I love that she spanked you. Yeah. <laughs> Stefania, you're amazing. Thank you. This is creepy. I don't like this many Mayas. I love that many Mayas. You now, love now, this many now, Mayas? Now, Hi everyone. Karina can have one and I can have one. You know? <laughs> I do find it interesting that when Karina is off at Gray's they pair me with you. <laughs> well, there was a reason we had an affinity for each other, you know? Yeah. I'm Six from feet Indiana. apart. <laughs> well, we're in, we're in the same pod. No, but that's usually what Stefani says whenever she sees oh, us together. She's like, right, Six right, feet right, right, apart. Right. That's fair. That's um, fair. I love me some great. Well, we're, we're, we're homies in real life, though. Yeah, we are. We, we do share something because, you know, I know that you guys have taken it the distance, but like, we both like had our characters have had, you know, romantic interludes with um, with Stefania. So it's kind of it's kind of. Um, a sec, I didn't know this. Huh? I didn't, you didn't know. know that? No. Did you ask her? Listen, you two have got a history now. You get aren't you getting married? I no. Oh no, you're not. No. No. But you should because you guys are great together. But Thanks. yeah, you need to yeah. Okay. But, but, but listen. They, they just dated for like two episodes and then and then you know she moved on from Owen pretty quickly. He's <laughs> Owen's a little too basic for somebody like her. <laughs> I don't know about that. And were you sad going back to Deluca? Were you sad though when he passed away? Absolutely. Oh, I'm I mean, so sad. Okay. Yeah, especially because you know he was right the whole time. You know he just didn't know how to control his emotions. Just the way it happened um, when Karina. You know the way that their relationship really blossomed. I have siblings, so I just, I can't even imagine that pain. Look at me, I'm so invested. Oh, okay. here you go. Where do Maya Bishop and Karina Juluka meet for the first time? A, oh. Graceland Memorial Hospital. B, Station 19. D, Seattle Grace Mercy West Hospital. Or D, Joe's Bar. I feel like it was when you brought a toe or something into the hospital. Now, I what? brought that into the hospital, but did we meet? You, you, you did not meet right in that moment. I remember because I remember, I feel like I was there in that scene maybe. And it was like a, 
you established the scene and then it went somewhere else. Yeah, I so, came in and ran in okay, and gave JC Mercy, a note. It's not Mercy West. I don't think it's Joe's, unless it happened on Station 19. It happened on Station 19. Then I'm going to say Joe's. It's Joe's. Yeah! <laughs> I knew it. I, I was like, it can't be the toe. It can't be the toe. I love that you say it's a toe when it was a nose. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they look the same when they're not on a body. You what? I said they look the same when they're not on a body. Is that true? Is that from your doctor's expertise? Are they identical now? <laughs> Levi has so many toes on someone's face. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> It'd be an interesting look. Um, yeah, that was, that was, a, I get the meat part, because you're right, when I brought in the nose is when, like, she catches me. Like, you, they do a shot of her looking at me. Yeah. But I don't meet her, and she comes to the bar later that night but on that's Station when 19. she fell in love, so. I guess so. So that's <laughs> the moment that she fell in love. I'm going to ask her that. Um, <laughs> what was the name of the man who tried to hit on Maya and Karina while they were on vacation? Oh. Was it Brian? Todd, Brad, or Chris? Anything you see we talked about the other day? I don't yeah. remember. He comes up and he gives his name and I go, hi, name, bye, name. Yeah. You're going to have to do the line after this just so we all get to hear it again. I'm, I will. I'm just going to go off a whim. Okay. Go for it. Go. Brad? Todd, what did, wow. you, what did you, you said A, Brian, you guys are both wrong. Oh my God, wait, say the line. She, I just go, hi, Todd, bye, Todd. <laughs> By the way, someone also corrected me. I'm not the one that said, hi, Todd, bye, Todd, Stefan. No way. Hilarious. Who's the one who doesn't know about this <laughs> now? I was like, yeah, that makes more sense. She was the one that said it. <laughs> I knew at this point, <laughs> at this point, we basically feel like one person, so. Oh my God, I love that. Okay.